Hello there. <clears throat> gaming gamer gaming here. I'm I'm sorry, but I'm a bit uh, well sick. But let's get on to it. The helicopter uh, tutorial. Yes, I know I promised it a long time ago, but I mean, yeah, it's not exactly simple. Like this is a working prototype. I mean, it technically works. I'll show you what I mean by technically works. As you can see, it moves and it can technically fly, but I mean, it's not stable at all. And I'm still experimenting with uh, how to improve that. One of the things I would like to try is space brakes, as they do break your break you in space, <laughs> break your speed in space. So they might work on in the atmosphere as well. Let's test it out. It's a bit more stable, honestly. As far as I can tell, it is a bit more stable, as I still haven't flipped. And yeah, that's the main problem. There's no gyroscope. And I'm guessing the new update will add a gyroscope, so... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to make this, like, in detail. And I'm gonna uh, show you where you would put the gyroscope at, if it existed. The thing, this thing, will be basically working only with a hover engine because, like the, it doesn't work in any other way because the hover engine does function as a gyroscope. So here's the configuration I would suggest to you. Take your hover engine, you rotate it, and put it like this. This thing is not important if you're not if you're gonna use a hover engine. Now, uh, let's. Uh, okay, let's let's finally uh, test this thing. We all been you we have all been waiting for. And yes, as you can see, it functions. It flies. It can go up. It can go down. Uh, all of it. But it can be shot down with just one missile. And that's why it's been taking so long. I have been trying to find a way to make a gyroscope. Basically a non-engine um, non gyroscope, which has been hard. But I do believe we have some luck on our side because RCS functions as can function as a engine and if I cor recall correctly it's not trackable by missiles because it's explosion of ga it expels gas that's how it works so in theory it should function I mean it does function we're not going any we're not going really fast but I mean it flies it can turn and let's get on to the main build finally okay here's what you want to do first off uh, the proportions don't really matter, because gyro they would matter if you would use a real gyroscope, but because we're using a hover engine, they don't matter. Okay, what you want to make is some sort of hull, some sort of main body, like I made here. Let me paint it out for you, so you can see exactly what I mean by main hull. This part here is the main hull. It's basically, uh, yeah. The main thing that's the most the thing that ha that holds everything important uh yeah that's it this is what you first firstly want to make second you want to add a place for your hover engine this is just a prototype so the hover engines uh, hover engine is outside i suggest you put it inside and possibly use more rcs or a different type of propulsion as rcs is really slow and it will be shot down immediately so I also suggest you use uh, some, you use flares. Put them where you want. Again, this is just a, this is this is a this is a prototype. Okay, now the propeller thing. This is a well, it's complicated. It's, it's really complicated. I mean, here's what I mean by it's really complicated. This isn't the max. This isn't max speed. This, uh, I'll explain to you why I chose this configuration. This is 10, this is 10, 
this is 10, this is 10, and this is 0, because this one doesn't matter really. And these are all 20. So the, it's in that kind of configuration, so it cancels out. So the so this can spin in the other direction, while this can spin in the other direction. So basically this spins to the right and this to the left. Basically. It might be reversed, but it doesn't really matter. You can bind the keys to whatever you want. The only thing that is important is to have the toggle on. If the toggle isn't on, you'll have to hold the key, uh, the button to fly. Which can be annoying. At least it was for me. So yeah, that's basically it. The propeller thing just has to cancel out. You can add more motors, less motors. It, the only thing that matters is that matters is that it cancels out. That's why this one is ten and this zero and this all twenty, because it's four of ten, which is forty, and then forty from this one, which cancels out with that one, and then for extra forty, so it doesn't spin spin in circles. Uh, the turning f thing is very simple. It's literally just this. Just bind it like that. You can literally just copy paste it, honestly. <laughs> I mean, you can! That's the fun part. It, th this is the simplest part of the build. This and this has to be reversed, so it does function properly, and this will basically allow you to turn. The, the wings added are not important. They're, again, used if you want to try making a stealth one that doesn't use any motors. I mean, any engines. But seeing that that's not gonna be a possibility without a working gyroscope, uh, you're gonna have to work with that. Let's go for a test flight to prove, uh, to see if this does really function as intended, intended, and yes, it does function. RCS is slow, and the hover engine is helping, but uh, yes, that's basically it. Uh, the helico this helicopter build isn't the best, and I'm telling you this because I, s I've, I saw one, that didn't use any, um, that that somehow managed to fly without using any engines, if I recall cor correctly. Which was impressive, but I never actually saw what, how it balanced out, how it flew. So yeah. This is basically the helicopter build. This is just a prototype, that's why it doesn't look any, like anything special or anything, ni anything nice. But, yes. Thanks for watching, sorry you had to wait this long, but I'm currently working on four more videos. So yeah, thanks for watching, see you guys next time, bye. Also, please subscribe.